you, man. Is your uh, relationship with your son cool? I thought he was upset. Like, You're not <laughs> Over my entire t time with RBK, I, I, I got about eighty million dollars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's depressing. And you still working, huh? And you still working? Yeah, like I mean, look for me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> In this video, we'll tell you how Fifty Cent troll celebrities. Let's go. The beef between Ja Rule and 50 Cent is considered to be one of the coldest and most legendary in the history of hip hop, but this video was created to amuse you, so let's not remember all the violent moments and look at how 50 trolled his opponent. Let's start with Fire Festival, the festival where luxury geodesic domes turned out to be USAID relief tents and more wild dogs showed up than headlining acts was the talk of Twitter. Fifth got in on the action sharing a meme of Donald Trump appointing Ja Rule as the secretary of festivals. Can't do nothing right, lol. The Exuma Island Festival was partially organized by Jaw, and he has since issued an extensive apology for the way things turned out. But the most legendary trolling towards Jaw happened when he made fun of the ticket prices for Ja Rule's concert and said that he bought 200 tickets for his show. First four rows in his concert? Yeah, there was like on Groupon for $15. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> when you come and there ain't nobody in the front seat. <laughs> You gotta still perform like everybody's here. I do not, you do not wanna f with you. <laughs> every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm, every day I'm, every day I'm hustling. Some people think that Rick Ross decided to hype on 50 during a music ceremony where Rick didn't like the way he looked at him. Curtis Jackson, baby, mama, I ain't asking for a scene. Burn the house down, you gotta buy another. <laughs> There's nobody in control of me. Like, I do what I want to do. I'm deciding to f your life up. Rick Ross, I'm gonna f your life up. For fun. In 2011, he called him a fat boy after Ross had suffered two seizures in one day. In 2015, 50 filed a $2 million lawsuit against the head of the Maybach Music Group, that is Rick Ross, for using the song In The Club on his Renzo Remixes project. In 2018, Rick Ross was taken to the hospital due to a possible heart attack. While most of Ross's peers were praying for him and expressing their best wishes, 50 remembered a scene from Rocky IV. Those who are into Rocky know that this picture is from a certain scene. After Drago knocked out Apollo Creed, he said, If he dies, he dies. In the power. In a position where bitch ass cowards can't fuck with our 50 has been trolling Young Buck for a long time. The power mogul used his initial reaction to Lil Nas X's costume as Nicki Minaj on Halloween to f Buck for allegedly sleeping with a transgender woman. I think Young Buck and Lil Nas X might make a love connection if he get a BBL lol. He looked like his last lover. Junior, is that you Junior? Once he posted a photo of a woman in thigh high boots saying that it was Buck's old lady. To sum it up, 50 trolled Buck all these years for being gay. See I got O'Shea with me. We out here on the dinner thieves. It was time for us to for me to make up with you know with Wendy Williams. I know everybody's like, what? But you see I got Pablo in the background. So now you see it, me and Wendy Williams, we make it up. And everything is just gonna be cool from now on, you know. We might as well just it's a make up. You know. Wendy's cool. She get look. We at the Wendy Williams show. Everybody knows that. 50 loves trolling, and that's exactly what his fans on Instagram love. So when the legend from Queens heard that Method Man allegedly hooked up with Wendy Williams, he couldn't resist ribbing the Wu-Tang Clan luminary, asking him, the f kind of weed made you do that, blood? He made another post, which he has since deleted, trolling Meth. 
If I was you at Method Man Official, I would not remember that shit either. LOL, never bitch, I don't remember. 50 and Williams have had a volatile relationship for years, but her standing with Method Man is questionable too. 50 also posted a photo of what Wendy looks without makeup. I told you, I told you you can't trust these niggas. Now Puffy done killed Tupac, man. That shit is like an African champ. Ain't no more team. What the fuck is Puffy doing? I'm gonna have a drink to forget about this shit. In the video about P. Diddy, we told you that 50 Cent claimed that Puffy knows who killed Biggie. Who sat Biggie Smiles? We don't get them, they gon' kill us all. Man, Puffy know who hit that nigga, man. That and just like Young Buck, 50 called Diddy gay. I can no longer Says help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Den of Thieves. In theaters, January. <laughs> Roughly speaking, not being that young, Madonna for some reason decided to share her explicit photos on Instagram, to which 50 Cent just had to react. Yo, this is the funniest shit, lol, he wrote in his initial post. That's Madonna under the bed trying to do like a virgin at 63. She shot out if she don't get her old ass up, lmfao. This is how the pop singer reacted. Here's 50 Cent pretending to be my friend. Now you have decided to talk smack about me. I guess your new career is getting attention by trying to humiliate others on social media. The least elevated choice you can make as an artist and an adult. You're just jealous you won't look as good as me or have as much fun when you're my age. Shortly after, 50 Cent apologized on Twitter, writing, I must have hurt Madonna's feelings. She went and dug up an old MTV photo from 03. Okay, I'm sorry, I did not intend to hurt your feelings. I don't benefit from this in any way. I said what I thought when I saw the picture because of where I had seen it before. I hope you accept my apology. You were trying to shame me. You were trying to humiliate me. Yeah, your apology is fake, it's bullshit, and it's not valid. Let me just hit those four or five points about your apology being invalid. Number one, it's not hard to find footage of you and me hanging out. Madonna's next door. She over there rehearsing. I take you over there and say hi to Madonna later. It's an old friend of mine, you understand what I'm saying to you? I'm, I'm kind of big, baby. You think the other rappers could just walk with Madonna's rehearsal? Huh? The security of Two, an apology is not valid if you don't know what you're apologizing for. What you should be apologizing for is your misogynistic, sexist, ageist behavior and remarks. accused him of stealing money from him at a strip club. Bow Wow was one of his celebrity guests at Allure Gentleman's Club in Atlanta, so he provided him with giant stacks of $1 bills. But he claimed Bow Wow basically took the money and ran. We came there like this, 50 Cent tweeted at the time. Bow Wow stealing ones. Why the f*** doing throw that to the dancers? You better get me the f***ing money by Monday. He later set his sights on so-so death founder Jermaine Dupri, adding, This shit is bad, JD. Ya man can't come party with us no more. 50 thinks that Bow Wow is still salty because on Madonna's post where she calls him a sexist, misogynist, and ageist, there is a like from Shad Moss. He wrote in the caption, I see Bow Wow mad. I told everybody he took that money home from that strip club. Shake my head. Fool, that money was for the dancers. He had a lot of money. He took the money back home with him. He took, you gave him money to play around in the club. In the club. And he took it home with him. He home with him. I'm like, you bum, you can't go nowhere with us. But Bow Wow soon popped up in the comment section with a rebuttal and claimed he was actually supporting him. I liked it cause you dissed her fool, he wrote. If you swipe over, it's your post. Of course, there were several people who dismissed Bow Wow's comment as just an excuse, with one commenter writing, nice save. And I almost forgot about the famous Bow Wow challenge, where 50 couldn't resist commenting on it on social media. He posted his new car on Instagram. Man of the hour, I'm the nigga with the hair 
time. Rolls Royce Ray, put your bitch up in the stars like she. Tori! This fool crazy for this, lol, wrote 50 Cent, captioning a video from comedian Ty Ham Commodore that makes fun of Tory Lane's patchy hair and his multiple bald spots. The video shows a man who is supposed to be Tory getting shot, but the bullets graze his head, chopping off parts of his hair. Before that, he trolled their situation with Megan the Stallion, when Tory allegedly shot her in the leg. 50 posted a meme to his 26 million followers, parodying a scene from the 90s film Boys in the Hood, where a character named Rick is running from John who shoots him. Megan's face is edited over Rick, and of course, Tori's face is edited onto John. 50 captioned the post, Run Ricky, run! What the f is really going on? In a second meme, 50 takes shots at Tory Lane specifically, mocking the Canadian rapper's height. The rapper's arrest documents from the weekend list his height at 5'3". The meme shows Tory's head edited over the body of Mini-Me, the iconic character from the Austin Powers spy movies holding a gun. He captioned this one, Verified Tory was like, bitch, quit playing with my pimpin', I'm not for the games, lol. Floyd and 50 Cent have fallen out because of a business deal and since then haven't been able to make amends. Floyd, Floyd, I know you ain't tripping on me over no bitch. Nigga, they ain't playing this shit. I was at the game yesterday. Drake was in there. I'm telling you, these light skinned niggas trying to take over every motherfucking thing. So tell me what you want to do. You want to kill a nigga or you want to kill a bitch, man? I know, I know. You want the bitch back. How much you spent on it? Five million? Chat, what the fuck is going on, man? Niggas tell me you down there at the fat burger fighting over time. Now that's T.I. bitch, man. You gonna cause these niggas to buy more guns in the ladder. No, no, I'm your brother. I'm gonna tell you like it is, chap. Your uppercut ain't gonna mean shit when niggas start shooting. What? For example, 50 trolled Floyd, photoshopping him as a Louis Vuitton bag after his brand heavy outfit at the Super Bowl. Who did this man turn champ into my Louis bag? exclaimed Curtis Jackson. What the f is going on? Next, Floyd spent $18 million on a watch, calling it the billionaire watch. 50 had to comment. Man, they found the one guy in the world dumb enough to buy that watch. LOL, get the strap. Uh, I look at the computer, the computer say, Floyd say, T.I. Nelly 50. I'm like, what do you say me for? Nelly fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance. Say that nigga. I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop because you know I gotta win every day, day. 50 Cent likes to f with Busta Rhymes because he used to be overweight. For example, 50 put up a photo before Busta's weight loss and compared it with the build of Tracy Morgan. They really kind of look alike, right? LOL, he's gonna curse me out when he wakes up. He also said that Busta Rhymes' arms is the same size as Curtis's leg and also dedicated Busta Rhymes a video in which he talks about fighting his opponent. I, look, I, I need you to give me the, the shit that you gave Buster Rhymes that made his, his arms bigger than my leg. Yeah, I was joking about that nigga. I, I, just give me some of that shit, man. I'll be ready for some in two weeks. All right? I, I, yeah, I've been joking about him. And motherfucker might want to fight me. 50 trolled Chug Knight, who is now behind bars, for how much effort he spent to get his artists out of prison. Chug once helped his artists who got into trouble. One time he paid a $1 million bail for Snoop. In the documentary, he told how he helped Snoop and Dre, saying that they were his people. 50 trolled him, saying Fat Boy looked out for guys on the low. At first, 50 Cent called 6 9 his son, but after Rainbow Haired was arrested and he started working with the feds, Curtis cut off all ties with him. When 21 Savage's status as an American citizen was under question, many began to post memes about the fact that he was British. 50 Cent posted on Instagram that it was Takashi who ratted on Savage. In his meme, 6 9 is standing in front of the judge, claiming that he is not a rat, but if they had ever noticed that 21 Savage looked British. He also called 6 9 a retard on Twitter. My son is a little retarded, your honor. Is there any way I can go get him and bring him to court?
50 also trolled his baby mama. They've had a heated relationship for a long time, but recently 50 trolled Shanika for her financial situation and the cosmetic surgery she had gone through. He posted a photo of a mummy and captioned it, My first international tour I came back, Shanika was like, Boo, that's you, lol. She went and got her body done. I thought she was doing real estate with the money. He captioned the photo. I said, what the f*** you do, bitch, lol. Thank you all for watching. I recommend you check out the next video about Eminem's drug addiction. See you guys later.